They're shutting everything down and the lockdowns are coming. And before you comment below with your replies that I would hope are your immediate reactions to the news being, uh, I will not comply. Let me first tell you about what one of the largest banks just did to all the money that they control in their vaults and online and stick around until the end. And I will inform you about what is happening next with the future of lockdowns that are coming. So news and insight for the digital economy shared the following report yesterday. Banking giant Citigroup launches private blockchain to transform client deposits into digital tokens. And this is yet another one of those videos that honestly I was a little nervous about sharing because of all the oversight and censorship that I have been experiencing here lately. But I must keep you all informed of the most important things happening and especially these that will have a major impact on your money. And with all the talks of censorship, suppression and lockdowns, I mean, who knows? Maybe maybe we too will be next. So while you still can before it's too late and for the benefit of us all. To allow me to continue to deliver these messages, the truth, facts, and the most important information, please make sure that you connect with me on Patreon, just in case my channel goes missing one day and you can't find me. And my wife, Michelle Squirrel Tribe, is joining me over there too for the most important up-to-date information that we honestly can't share on YouTube for fear of being deleted, terminated, completely wiped out from the platform. You know how they do. And you don't even have to pay to be a member if you don't want to, because there is free content over there as well. Because at Suburbia is right. It seems like anybody that talks about certain world events, well, their channel gets demonetized, subs deleted, or in some cases, their channel gets straight up deleted altogether. Man, that is so crazy, but true. Like if you agree. So the financial services and banking giant Citigroup is reportedly launching a unique private blockchain for its clients. Private. And according to a new Bloomberg report, Citigroup has unveiled City Token Services, a product aimed at tokenizing client deposits. Are you worried yet? Are you afraid? And before you ask, the answer is yes. Everything you know and have heard about FedNow and CBDC and BRICS, this is all directly and closely tied to the lockdowns and mandates that can and will be enforced through these government-controlled digital currencies. So the service that Citigroup has unveiled called City Token Services is reportedly focused on improving cash management and trade finance capabilities such as increasing the speed of transactions. And Citigroup's global head of services, Shamir Kalik, says the development of City Token Services is part of our journey to deliver real-time, always-on, next-generation transaction banking services to our institutional clients. And these so-called tokenized deposits represent bank claims and are instantaneously transferable on the blockchain. Private. So, according to the Bloomberg report, Citigroup tested the new system with the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. And the system enables banks to generate digital money for their customers, which can then be cleared using central bank reserves. And the test was deemed successful. That means it's a go. And indicated that these new digital dollars, which will replace your old paper cash money, can enhance wholesale payments. Now, they haven't come for our gold yet, but they did try to make a move on our crypto and specifically XRP. So, folks, please pay close attention. There was specific mention about the altering of the legal treatment of deposits as well. So, yeah, uh, I got to tell you guys, altering the legal treatment of deposits, this doesn't sound good to me. How about you guys? What do you think? This sounds like a legal loophole and backdoor to more bank bail-ins using depositors' money. And the global head of digital assets at Citigroup's Treasury and Trade Solutions Division, Ryan Rugg, says frictions related to cutoff times and gaps in the service window will be reduced. Our solutions within the city network are complemented by inclusive and open industry collaboration on initiatives like the regulated liability network. Please pay close attention to what he just said. So I would be willing to bet that you all should pay very close attention to your mailboxes, your email inboxes, text messages, 
banking apps, alerts on your smartphones, or even when you log in on your computer with legal agreement notices and account holder disclosure statements and updates telling you that your accounts will be shifted over and converted in this transition to the new regulated liability network and replaced with these new digital dollars, or better yet, tokens. The report goes on to say that fellow financial giant JP Morgan and Chase is reportedly developing similar strategies. So even if you don't bank with Citi, Citibank or Citigroup, this is more than likely going to be rolled out widely over all banking sectors and possibly even credit unions. But I do like how they are leveraging this uh, overnight transaction as the reasoning behind why they are uh, forcing this new uh, mandate and transfer and conversion and transition of dollars to digital tokens, a CBDC of sorts, central bank digital currency, similar to how we have just heard that all of a sudden uh, there are problems with some of the ingredients and some of the decongestions that are on the shelves in the cold and flu section of your grocery stores and pharmacies or Walgreens, CVS, Target, Walmart, that all of a sudden now they're ineffective. Therefore, uh, we have to make this drastic change. Although they are still effective, just not in the um, oral application. Whereas a nasal application still works fine, but time to revamp the whole system and change everything drastically immediately for this one little thing that all of a sudden just doesn't work anymore. That always used to work before. You see what I'm saying? Now there's such a big to do about transactions not being able to be processed in hours. Now we have to shift to minutes, but in reality, they were instantaneous to begin with. So what are they really doing? What are they really trying to cover up? Or more importantly, what are they hurrying up to try to do? More than likely changing our money from what we knew to what will be and further having greater control and access to lock us down and restrict us, our movements, our purchases, our savings, negative interest rates, all the things that you've heard of happening before, but now at the drop of a hat, literally in seconds with the control of a push of a button by Citibank. JP Morgan Chase, the Fed, anyone really, anyone besides us, we will no longer be in control, or at least that's what they would prefer to see. And tonight we will be going live and Squirrel Tribe and I are going to bring you the latest news on the future of potential lockdowns, YouTube policy changes that I have been hearing about and actually seeing being put into effect loss of revenue and channels no longer monetized, and shocking news about Maui, Hawaii, Lahaina, and the latest on the missing children, and all the corruption that is happening surrounding this tragic disaster. And yes, our government would very much like to see us all locked down so that they can shut down everything and make us become slaves. Don't you agree? And the harsh reality is that these evil demons are in the vast majority of control of this very platform that you are watching this video on now. So like I said, if you haven't come over to Patreon yet, now is the time to make sure that you click the link and hurry up before it's too late. Because as you will see and hear tonight at five, they are preparing and getting ready to lock down our ability to access the truth and important information like I share with you here on this channel. Now, I do hope to see you guys there. 5 p.m. Central, we are going live. I'm Kevin247. Thanks for watching.